It is VW's answer to the question for more power. After more fun, after more golf, the Golf R. And it can really do more. The ESP can be completely switched off and it can drift until dawn. The Golf R, however, is not cheap. At least €10,000 more than for the 80 horsepower weaker GTI must be reckoned with. The Super Golf has proved that it is a pleasure on snow. Now it is on the difficult mountain passes in Corvara. On the winding roads, the excellent all-wheel drive with variable power distribution really pays off. The driver is always in control, even in fast and tight corners. Where other cars drive the beads of sweat on the forehead and demand a high concentration, the electronic differential lock in the Golf R breaks the inside wheel selectively when the liability decreases. This ensures optimal grip in every situation and a lot of fun behind the wheel. A dream, the elasticity. From 80 to 120, the R requires just four seconds in fourth gear. This makes the heartbeat faster, especially on motorways. VW Typical, the most powerful golf of all time, shines by restraint. What for some may be boring, for others is a perfect blend of relatively unremarkable everyday car and phenomenal cornering hunter for the weekend. Details like the four flat tailpipes and the small reel spoiler distinguish it from its more or less tame and lame brothers. The mirrors in chrome are there to make drivers ahead be more attentive. Changing lanes is worthwhile. Anyone taking a seat in the Golf R will feel at home, like in most VWs. But with a somewhat noble-looking interior, it offers an even more comfortable atmosphere than the standard models. A downer at the end, the Golf R is sealed off at 250 kilometers per hour. There is more in it. And then the question remains, if one wants to pay 40,000 euros for a Golf, one should if you're looking for reliable fun and top quality.